Hello mga Dumagotenios! I'm right here right now in Chao Bella. Hello mga Dumagotenios! I'm right here right now in Chao Bella, which means hello beautiful. Together with Mr. Sam and Alex. So, Mr. Sam, thank you for having us right now. My and pleasure. Of course, we're gonna ask you a couple of questions about how, how about this magnificent place and how it came to be. So, what do you like most about the Philippines? Why did you settle here in the Philippines, and why particularly in Dumaguete? Uh, what I like the most about Philippines is actually the Filipinos. They are very hospitable, kind, and warm people. And why I chose in Domaguete? Because, of, in my opinion, Domaguete is the most peaceful city That's among so all the Philippines. Like, there are a lot of big cities with a lot of facilities in there, but none of them as peaceful as Domaguete, in my opinion. Now, um, just, just a uh, curious question. How did this magnificent place came to be? Uh, it, this place started with Emmanuel de Picato, with my best friend, who opened it in uh, June 2014. He was the first Italian restaurant officially opened in Domaguete. And he offered good food as long as he was here. Unfortunately, by 2016, he passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear so that. So that's the time that we took over as friends of him just to keep the place open, just to keep it going. We are still following his footsteps, selling authentic Italian food and the price affordable to the market, to the locals. And that's that's our that's our mission. Wow. He's very lucky to have friends like you guys. But he was a very nice guy. A lot of food we have here are his recipes, so you can still taste his food and maybe by taste of the food you can know who he really was. By the place alone, you can really see that it's really welcoming and homey. And I believe that that's what he wanted to go for. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah, uh, Manu was a very, uh, very happy looking, very nice guy, very kind guy. And people would actually enjoy just sitting with him and talk. You said, sir, that Chao Bella offers Filipino cuisine with an Italian twist. How do you put the Italian twist to our Filipino dishes? Oh, um, okay, let me give you a couple of examples. Like for example, there is this Filipino dish that I truly love, the name is adobo. Yeah, um, yeah that's, um, everybody, like, everybody loves that dish. So we invented uh, a, a Italian version of uh, adobo where the meat gets cooked with red wine. So you get a little bit of, a lot of the bad side effects from the meat away by cooking it through with the wine. And then we, we mellow it down with a little touch of cream that uh, lower down that saltiness and just makes it, in my opinion, perfect for what a taste of adobo should be. You still have the taste of amazing adobo, you have the additional taste of wine, and you have a little bit of cream to just smoothen things up. We have other dishes, we have a famous chicken halang halang, where, I mean, halang halang is a lovely dish, right? It's basically tasty, it's fantastic, but it's too soupy. And I was thinking, and there, are, there are a lot of bones in the original recipe. I was thinking, I want to eat halang halang, and I don't want any bones to come out, and I want a thick coconut taste to come with my chicken. What can I do about it? I invented my own version of halang halang, where I used the chicken breast instead of the, instead of the parts that originally used in it, and I thicken it up really, I thicken up the sauce. Then it's a sauce, it's not a soup anymore. Uh, it's very thick. Man. It's a thick uh, version of the halang halang. Oh. And everything cooked together, the tastes are all there. You can have it with rice. And it's a different version. Our sisig is also different. Um, uh, our sisig basically is pure pork face. I know you guys originally used some livers. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I used the pure pork face with a lot of veggies in it. Like the things we put in our sisig is not regular. But when you eat it at the end of the day, it's still the same taste of the nice fatty pork, but comes with the healthiness of some good vegetables in it. I basically believe the best food in every country comes out of twists. Like, uh, when you get the food, the original recipe, and you add a twist to it, uh, it, it's like a bind between two different nations. The taste would be more amazing, the taste would be better. So, what do you want to say to the fellow Dumagetenios right now? Invite them over to your place. 
Uh, I want to tell them thank you for being with us since 2014 and I hope you guys come here and try our food. We try our best to deliver quality and affordable price at the same time for everyone to enjoy the good uh, twist or the good Italian or the good foreign food and hopefully we can add a taste profile to Domagheta City. So that's it for the Magetanias. Make sure to check out Chavela here at Domagheta City.